before you came round. Welcome back, everyone, to our annual, on, our ongoing annual tradition on Fluffy Flamingos. This is our fourth annual New Year's vlog, and I am so excited to get this started. I always wait for this time of year. It's my favorite project to work on. And then I realized, man, Christmas is like a couple days away. I should probably do it. So here we are. 2021 was an insanely busy year, mostly work, sadly, but... Uh, I started off working at Vasa Fitness on January 5th, so very beginning of the year, and I didn't do a whole lot, you know, concerning the channel, but I did do a lot of magic performances there. So I made you guys a little compilation of my magic tricks for my coworkers. So here it is. Queen of Hearts, that's my favorite card. I think that's the one we chose earlier. Okay, so the whole point of this trick is to uh, eliminate influence, right? Good. So, if you were to think of a card between one and or, of a number between one and ten in your head right now, you got one. Okay. Were you thinking of either three or seven? Yes. Yes, seven. Three. Okay. So, reason I ask is because sixty-seven percent of the population tend to pick those numbers, three or seven. So you fell in that category, right? So. Magicians lean towards statistics, they influence people. Marketing is all about influence, right? So you know it's real, it's out there. So this is to eliminate any influence that I could have on you, right? So if I if I take this and I spin it once, we get say it out loud. Two. Two. And then if we spin it again, we get <laughs> Yeah, that was not the point. But could you spin this once? And we'll just see what we get. Eleven. Cool. And you, you said Queen of Hearts, right? Uh -huh. And you chose the deck that you wanted. They're all shuffled differently. Yes. Yeah? Okay. Take a look over here. You said number 11. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. You said Queen of Hearts, right? Yes. And you, free choice. Like, I could not influence you to pick it. Flip it over. What do you got? Queen of Hearts. Show the camera. Oh, what? <laughs> And they're, they're all different, right? They're all in a shuffled position. There's no way I could have known. Yeah? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. So I got the song. I'm going to lower the volume all the way. Okay? So we don't know what's playing. But I got a song in my head. It's stuck in my head. And I just put it out there on the phone, on YouTube. And what I'm going to have you do is... We're gonna make a song together. Okay, so I want you to think of a beat in your head. Just kind of start laying the groundwork for a song. Okay? And once you got a beat down, I want you to think of a melody. I want you to think once you got the name of your song, I want you to tell me what it is. Or we'll make it, we'll make it more secretive, but do you have a song in mind already? Okay. I'm gonna have you do I'm gonna use my notepad here. You can make a new note. Uh, could you just Type the name of your song and say by this artist, right? And whenever you're done, I don't want to see, but just lay it down, face down, on the table. Right? Perfect. Okay, so I haven't seen the song. You got one in your head, I got one stuck in my head. Uh, so what was the song that you were thinking of? By who? By Five. By Maroon 5. Memories by Maroon 5. It's a good song. Uh, can you turn up the volume on your phone? Don't look at it yet, but just turn up the volume. Come closer, can you hear that? You can see that it's playing your song. You hacked into my YouTube channel. Nope. I have this butte right here. Okay. Inside are just a bunch of different words like mop, mouse, eyelid, glasses, hero, right? Lots of different stuff. I'm gonna have you hold out your hand for me. I want you to pick up. Don't like scroll, just pick up somewhere. Don't let me see what word it is. Show the camera. Zebra. Okay. Zebra. Z. Yes. Okay. 
<laughs> an E? Yep. And an R? Okay. Do we all know what word she's thinking of? Got it right here. So on three, we're gonna say the word at the same time. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. Razors! Yeah. Oh, but I mean zebra. <laughs> that, that's it. recently started a new job at um, Walgreens as a manager and it's been great I started like early right before uh, Halloween so October 25th ish I think and it's been great I absolutely love working there bosses co-workers are all great and I feel like I'm doing really well so it's been amazing this year I also changed a lot physically which I don't mean my weight Stepping on the beat. My girl walks out, but she looks so good You get knocked down, but you can't keep on Skate, skate, throw it on repeat We... We don't talk about that. Ever. I, uh, obviously look different from when I did my first episode all those years ago. But, I don't mean my way, I'm referring to all these tattoos on my skin. I got a bunch of new ones and I absolutely love getting tattooed. I think it's so fun. <laughs> Here, I only had one, and that was a free one for doing that uh, Death or Glory tattoo commercial. So I got a uh, free Queen of Hearts on my middle finger, and I it was great. I left it there. But this year, Liam from the last vlog, he came into town, and we did a video for my other channel that I was really excited about, MMXX Reactions, and we reacted to bad tattoos after he and I ourselves went to go get some tattoos together, matching ones. So I got this guy right here, this little bear on my arm, and he got a different style bear on his chest right here. We, uh, we're brothers, Liam and I. I. I love you so much, Liam. Thank you so much for your support, your help. And this last vlog, I'm so glad I was able to come out to see you. Um, it was very cathartic, and it was exactly what I needed. So thank you so much. So yeah, as I just mentioned before, I started a second channel, 
and it just kind of got run into the ground. We didn't pay enough attention to it, and then and I got involved in a bunch of other projects, so that one just kind of deteriorated, and it's there, but it's not active. In 2020, for this channel, though, I came up with a big question. What, am I going to do film or magic or both? And the ultimate answer I chose was, was film and photo, and I had a great time. It was so much fun, and it really suited my needs that year. But I had a lot of people leave, a lot of people stop following and it occurred to me I really missed that aspect and so this year we revamped it to the magic stuff everyone's been waiting for so last year we do two we did two mini series we did just text effects which was a 10 episode mini series about you know making texts and manipulating it for your films and then we also did meme editing where I teach you how to memeify your videos we had a lot of people happy that we switched back to magic people started refollowing people got very interested in coming back new followers and if you guys are new here thank you guys so much and welcome to this video welcome to this new tradition I've started a while ago if you guys are coming back thank you guys so much for sticking with me not giving up on me and waiting to see more we've been doing so much magic stuff we have a new mini series also 10 episodes called silent minds and it's all about impromptu magic tricks so anytime, anywhere, any deck of cards, whatever, you could be, you could have nothing on you and you could still learn something. We've had, I've had a lot of submissions, video submissions of people learning the tricks that I've sent out into the world and it's so interesting to see people learning from me. I feel very compassionate towards this hobby of mine and I know that you guys love it too. That's why you're here. Just wanted to say I'm very proud of all of you who have learned something from here and I'm, I'm a proud person for being able to give you that teaching that you were looking for. I'm glad I was able to help and I love you guys so much and keep up the good work. Because of this new magic trajectory, I was very proud of videos like how to make a magic routine from start to finish and the mnemonica stack video, the holy grail video, because I felt like those were things that aren't talked about enough and like people just don't know enough about it. So I wanted to fill in those gaps and I feel like I've done that well. For that mini series, Silent Minds, I've had so much fun going out and trying something new. I feel like it's been very interesting, like a big learning curve for me and people who haven't learned these things yet. And so for that last vlog, it was a Silent Minds video and I went to Phoenix for my 21st birthday to go see Liam again. And it was just everything I ever could have wanted for my 21st birthday. Um, my wife couldn't come with me. That was the only thing I would change. But it was so fun. We had a couple of drinks. Maybe a couple, right? And uh, we did a photo shoot with Liam and that turned out amazing and I'll show you how it turned out. <laughs> So we just finished our photo shoot with Liam. Turned out really good, if I say so myself. Uh, and we're just gonna head back to the flat and we're just gonna teach you guys a quick magic trick called ESP for this episode of Silent Minds. Let's do it. Let's do it. This year was groundbreaking because I've been working on two podcasts as well. So Bleeding Hearts, it's kind of like a comedy. It's pretty out there, inappropriate. So if you're too young, please don't listen. Um, I don't want any 12 year olds listening to that podcast. Um, and then we also revamped Dead Rent. So this one right here on my arm, this skull. Uh, these are the two logos for my podcast. So the skull used to be Dead Rent and I used to do that with Chandler and you guys probably know him from the other channel too. But um, we he moved and came back and he's been busy. So we revamped it and my wife and I now own Twisted Manor, which is the same logo and everything, but it's about ghost stories. So my wife and I go out of our way to 
research topics for a week and then we surprise each other with what stories we've shared. So I don't know what she prepped, she doesn't know what I prepped, and we try to scare the bejesus out of each other, basically. Successfully, might I add. I have not slept a wink since we started this podcast. But it was little Maria who had the worst of the violent activity. Maria was attacked, and viciously so. Slapped, bitten, beaten, and more. She even had needles inserted into her skin by an unseen entity, embedded so deep within the skin they had to be removed by a doctor. And it was reported that Maria had over 50 needles removed from her ankle. And how they got there is a huge mystery. With bleeding hearts, uh, when I came back from the last vlog, I actually got stuck at the airport. If you guys saw the whole thing, uh, you'll know that I was at the airport until 3 o'clock but I arrived at like 5 a.m. So I was there all day, wide awake, looking for something to eat, something to do. It was exhausting. Um, and for Bleeding Hearts, I was like, we do playlists every other episode. So I came up with a playlist called Stranded, and uh, I'll uh, let it play for a sec so you guys know what it's like. Another amazing thing that happened this year was my brother got engaged and we we're so happy for him. The girl that he chose is so amazing and we all love her to death. She's amazing, an amazing human being. And I felt utilized and, and like I had purpose because for once my family had an event with photos that were needed to be taken and they asked me for it. I just finished editing the photos. Photos turned out pretty good. I, I enjoy how they, how they turned out. Fast forward to the end of the year, they are now married, living happily ever after, and we couldn't be happier for them. There's just so much stuff packed into one year, as expected, as always, but there was a big part of my year that none of you saw, and it's because it was personal and it doesn't need to be put out there. But I will show you a clip of what happened, a peek behind the curtain, if you will. So if there's so many unknowns, a lot of you may be wondering, What's the point of this? What is the point of filming this? To show that life is fear. Fear of the unknown. I don't know what's gonna happen. If I don't get that job, I'm gonna have to go on a whole new hunt for something new. That's a little scary. I was ho I'm really hoping to get this job. If I never find my dream in this life and I die a broken man, and I never knew what I wanted, that's terrifying. The point is to be brave and to find the moments that fill your life with magic. As a magician, I create these moments day by day. I create a smile here and a laugh there, surprise and amazement. But magic is the moments of life that fill these emotions, that feel them. I went on a hike just the other day with Sam and his friend, and being at the top of that hill, that mountain, looking over all of Springville makes me feel alive, fills my soul with magic. That is what magic is to me. I 
had a six month project this year where I worked on a documentary called Dreams. And it was a tough journey for me because I was trying to figure out more about dreams and specifically what are my dreams. It was a long, perilous road, but at the end of it, I learned a lot. I've never been involved in a project so much that it took me to a dark place and the light place and made sense at the end that it meant something so personal to me. I have a tradition on this video of 10, top 10 me moments, like top 10 moments of pure Shy Mizrahi for you to enjoy. But this year I wanted to change that and celebrate you, my viewers. And to do that, we're just gonna skip forward to the thank you notes section. I wanna say thank you first off to Field and Mason, Sam Farley, Kyle Brenneman, you guys. You guys have made this year so special. And Liam, of course, Alex, Gabe. I know I already said thank you, Liam, but that trip meant the world to me. It was everything I could have needed this year. Mom, dad, and siblings, you know who you are. Thank you so much for your support, your critique, for keeping me humble. This year would not have been the same without you, just as every year before. Emily, my dear beloved, you keep me right and honest and I feel like every year just gets harder and harder. But with you by my side, nothing ever seems impossible. And I owe so much to you and I'm grateful for you every single day. So thank you so much for making 2021 one to remember. Lastly, my viewers, my faithful few, Thank you so much for being here, for coming and supporting me, spending time with me and learning. I hope that I was able to guide you and help you learn some new things this year. Maybe even help you do things that you didn't think you could before. So thank you again so much for being here. It means everything. My New Year's resolution is a tough one, but I think this message just needs to be heard. and. This year I learned it in a really long journey, but be yourself. This next year I promise myself that I will be myself no matter the cost and I can no longer be shackled and I'm free to be me and so can you. Learn who you are and don't stray from that path. When I die, it'll be my feelings and my feelings alone. I can know for sure. And if I'm not happy, then I didn't live right. So to those who are still here for the end of the video, I love you so much. And this New Year's, I hope treats you well. 2021 was full of hurt and struggle. And sadly, 2020 was very similar. But I hope that 2022 has new things to offer that creates more harmony between all of us. I love you all, sincerely, from the bottom of my heart. And I will see you guys in the next year because Fluffy Flamingos is not going anywhere. I hope you'll join me on that day. Have a great New Year's.